All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Today, I want to actually test out to see how far Tesla has gotten with FSD beta or their autopilot code in general, even though right now, as of FSD beta 10.11.2, they're two different stacks. They're not on the same code bit, not a merge code based. Um, but I want to see how they've done working with toll booths. Here in this particular Northeast area, there's lots of toll booths, some funnel in empty where there's no lines leading up to the actual toll lanes. Some have the actual toll lanes that extend directly from the actual uh, road lines. So we want to see exactly what that looks like for FSD beta right now. Prior to this and older versions with older versions of the software autopilot on the highway, navigate on autopilot specifically, had a hard time navigating toll booths. It would basically disengage and tell you to take over when a toll booth was around. But today we're going to test it out to see if it's gotten any better see if they've added any improvements behind the scenes that they have not released in the release notes, all right? So let's jump right into it right now. Activate now. Okay, it's just got to merge onto the highway. Let's see what that looks like. This is the transition from city streets FSD beta proper to navigate on autopilot, highway autopilot. Changing lanes automatically. And then the graphics should change as well as we get up to speed. I'll keep it at speed right now. Um, I won't boost it up any higher than this. I'll stay in this lane as best I can. And just basically go from there. One thing I noticed is that I don't have Navigator Autopilot active. I've activated it now. And now we're shooting our way. And I changed my mind. I think I will speed up. Cars are piling up pretty aggressively behind me. So I'll jump up to 10 miles an hour over here. It's going to go ahead and let this car merge in right here. Okay, it's trying to, but it didn't do a good job of that. So I overrode the acceleration only. I kept it engaged. Didn't do a good job. It came almost to a hard, complete stop, which is not a good thing to do on the highway. So definitely needed to take over there. But let's just see. Let's see what happens when we get to this tow booth coming up. Um, I think the lane lines have been repainted recently. So I want to see how the car handles, how it handles this scenario. And does it actually go to the tow booth? Uh, just as a warning, I do not have my toll tag mounted, so I'm going to manually put it up there uh, as I pass through, if it's able to go through completely or if I have to take over either way. But again, toll booths are the tricky thing when you talk about traveling across country from L.A. to New York or anywhere else, north to south. Uh, toll booths are the impediment that would get in the way of full autonomy. Uh, in my opinion, because they're not designed around full autonomy. They're designed around human drivers. So if it can navigate this, um, that'd be pretty cool. Here we go. Toll booth coming up. Not good visibility behind this van, but let's see what happens. I'm going to keep my hand at the ready. It's so going into the lane because the lines are still there. A little bit indecisive, a little herky-jerky. Okay. Toll booth detected. Navigate on the pilot has ended. I'm gonna just hold my toll tag up here. Can it go through? Wow, it made it. Now can it resume? With barely visible lane markings here. Asking me to hold on. Okay, I'll hold on. I'll keep a close eye on it. Cars are merging, funneling into lanes. Let's see what happens. All right, good job, excellent job. They can now handle these toll booths now, uh, to some extent. Not, not fully, probably, probably not all use cases, but at least that one where the lane sort of guided it right to the right toll booth, that was pretty good. Okay, so that's, that's progress here, that's progress. The next toll booth is gonna be a while, so I'm not actually gonna do that one, but I wanted to just test that one to start. I'll do some more and some subsequent tests, but so far so good, I like this. I like the fact that uh, it can handle this particular scenario. 
Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what your experience was with tow boost and autopilot. If you have FSD beta, if it's different somehow, some way than the FSD beta code, if you don't, let me know how the code is for that and how you handle tow boosts in your area, if you have them. Uh, until the next time. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.